Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I am going to be doing an anti-haul. The holidays are right around the corner, so all of the Christmas launches are happening in the beauty world right now, and I am on a no to very low buy, so there's a lot that I will not be purchasing. There are a lot of products that I wanna purchase but just can't justify it at this time, but then there are the products and launches that are just really ugly and stupid. So I'm gonna be letting you guys know what I won't be purchasing and kind of roasting those launches a little bit. I don't know why I talk with my hands so much. Okay, so yeah, I am just going to go through some of the holiday launches and I guess I'll scoot over so I can put them on the screen. What side do I wanna? I think I usually go to this side. Also, I actually brushed my hair today can you tell? Who is she? I don't know. I'm actually wearing it down too instead of in a high bun. I don't know who I am. I'm trying to find this one launch that is just so atrocious. Okay, so the first holiday launch that I want to talk about is the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear set. Too Faced always launches these like mini palettes. This year I think they had a gingerbread one, a salted caramel one, and I don't really want to talk about those because they're like fine. It's whatever. However, this Cinnamon Bear collection, I don't Get it first of all the color story very basic second of all cinnamon bears like is that's not a holiday thing the only candy that's cinnamon ish is cinnamon hearts which is valentine's day and this is like pink and red like this would have totally been a valentine's day collection or it should have been i don't understand why they launched it now first of all the packaging is really not even cute Second of all, it's not scented like the other ones, which I feel like is a main selling point for Too Faced. Yeah, I don't know. If you're gonna go for a palette, I would just suggest going for like the gingerbread or the salted caramel if you're gonna go for a Too Faced mini palette. I don't understand this one. It's not holiday themed. Quite frankly, the packaging is not cute. It's kind of ugly. Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I haven't bought Too Faced in like a hot minute, especially not their holiday collections. I just feel like the quality of this what is going on out there? I just feel like the quality of this would not be very good at all. Too Faced quality has gone down over the years and not only that, but their quality of their holiday collections. Girl, no, it's just, it's gonna be a powdery mess. I can almost guarantee it. So this is a pass. Next up is the ColourPop holiday collection. Uh, it's the Emoru collection. <laughs> Oh fuck. Amoureux. Amoureux. Anyway, I'm trying to say it with like a decent French accent. I do know French, however, I'm not good at it. So I'm trying to do the name justice. Clearly did not work. This just looks boring. They're both neutral palettes. One's gold, one's rose gold. There's a couple sparkly shades, some blushes, and some luxe lipsticks. How many times are they gonna launch the same thing in different packaging? How many times? Sorry, Colourpop, but like, what the hell? This kind of reminds me of when they did like the blush the blush tone nine pan and the nude tone nine pan i forget what those are called nude mood and blush crush i'm pretty sure that's what it is this kind of reminds me of that but like in a 12 pan instead of a nine i don't know i just feel like they keep repackaging the same shades and marketing it as a new collection and i'm getting kind of sick of it. If I get this in PR, honestly, I'll still probably review it, but I'm not gonna buy it. Next up, I wanna talk about the Morphe and Lisa Frank collab. First of all, Lisa Frank did a collab with a brand, I can't remember the name, I'll put it down here. I saw Jen Loves talking about this, where they were asking for money to like create a Lisa Frank collab and then you would get the products at a later date, like they hadn't developed it yet or something like that. I don't know, but the whole Lisa Frank thing was super problematic. I'm not really educated on that whole situation. If anyone knows what happened, leave it down below. What's the tea? Because I know it's problematic because Jen Loves said it was, and a bunch of other people said it was on Twitter, but I didn't really understand why like i didn't understand what happened anyway so it's problematic because of the lisa frank aspect also the morphe palette that they actually put out it's not even new it's the 35b but repackaged so they discontinued the 35b to launch the james charles palette now that the james charles palette isn't like fun and new anymore they're just relaunching the 35b so it's like fun and new i don't know that rubs me the wrong way just seems like a cash grab they're trying to make money off of people's nostalgia for lisa frank and I'm not into it. Also, the quality, like I can feel the chalkiness through the image. I don't think I ever had the 35B, but I 
Mm, or did I? I remember I had a 35 pan Morphe palette that wasn't like Jaclyn Hill and it wasn't the James Charles palette and it was really bright and I remember I had to literally scrape off the shadow with my nail in order to get enough shadow on my brush like they were just pressed so hard that i had to scrape it up and then put it on my brush and then put it on my eyes and even then it was chalky so it's a no from me another no from morphe i just rip on morphe all the time apparently i don't know i just i feel like i don't like them I don't like them. I just feel like everything they do is just a cash grab and there's no thought put into it, that's it. I mean, obviously everyone's in the cosmetic industry to make money, but Morphe, they just make it so blatantly obvious. Like how many times are you gonna launch a palette with the same shades of brown and market it as something brand new. I don't know. I just, I feel like there's no thought put into it at all. At least with ColourPop, they like, you know, put some thought into like the packaging. How are we gonna market this? Whereas Morphe, they just slap up the same colors in the same black packaging and say it's new. And then they just keep collaborating with influencers that have nothing to do with the makeup industry, which I can still understand. But then at the same time, it's like these palettes that are in collaboration with these influencers, they don't even like look like the influencer created them. You know what I mean? It's like Morphe created them and they're like, oh yeah, all these shades of brown, it's great. Here you go, Madison Beer, slap your name on this. I feel like their influencers have no say in the color story and the creation of the palette. They just kind of slap their name on it because they know that they're fan base will sell it. Anyway, how do I really feel? The next one, again, Morphe. Nikita and Morphe. Nikita's problematic for a bunch of reasons. She's not even really a beauty influencer again at this point. She started out that way, but I feel like now she's more of just like a, she's more of a flexing influencer. She just flexes on the gram and calls it a day, which is like fine, like good for you girl, but like, I don't know, that palette, it's not really cute. Hold on, let me take another look at it. I know it's not cute, but I wanna tell you specifically what I don't like about it. It doesn't really seem like an interesting palette. I feel like they just tried to like spice it up with the little sweet swirly shades and I don't know how I feel about swirly shades I don't think I've ever tried one but it just feels like they're just kind of throwing those in there just throw a couple of those to make it interesting yeah I just it doesn't really speak to me the color story the first top shade is just a bunch of browns then we have some warm tones then we have a couple blues a couple pinks some purple yeah it's just it's not as cohesive as I would like it to be I think I, th I think the color story I don't mind but I think that the way it's organized makes me not like it does that make sense? And the fact that it's Nikita Dragon, I won't support her. Next, House Labs four-way eyeshadow quads. Honestly, these just seem kind of boring. I feel like the only one with a semi-interesting color story are the purple and gold and the neon one with the white in it. The ones on the bottom right, I think are slightly interesting. The others just look really boring to me. I do like the concept of an eyeshadow quad, but just these color stories aren't really speaking to me. Mm, apparently they're boring me too. I think it was a good idea. I think eyeshadow quads are pretty popular right now. Like just the whole concept of smaller palettes and like downsizing. Like no one really wants 35 pans anymore. Sorry, Morphe. I'm coming for you again, apparently. So yeah, I think the concept was good, but the execution is just a little lacking for me in the color story. And the finishes also don't look like they're anything to write home about. Okay, so next up, there is a new collab. Where is it? Let me find it because I'm not familiar with this brand. So I want to make sure that I get it right. It's a dirty dancing collab with Sola Look. Is it So LA or Sola? It looks like it's Sola because it's all one word. So I guess their whole thing is that they're making TV and movies into makeup. I don't, I don't know. I guess that's their shtick, but they're doing a Dirty Dancing collab. First of all, that eyeshadow palette looks like it's the bulkiest thing I've ever seen. It's taking up all of my drawer just looking at it. The color story is not good, in my opinion. There's no cohesion to it. I don't feel like I could create a whole look with it. It just looks cheap. I'm also not a Dirty Dancing fan, so maybe that has something to do with it. Not that I like didn't like the movie, but I've just never seen it. I'm not a huge movie watcher, so that could have something to do with it. But I think even if I love Dirty dancing I wouldn't go for this collection because it just kind of looks on the cheaper side to me and that color story is just absolutely atrocious next up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills holiday bundles it feels like they put literally no effort into this they just took their leftover limited edition palettes which are sultry and jackie Ina palette that were relatively successful and were like mm, let's slap it in a bundle and discount it and call it a day it doesn't feel like they put any thought into it for me the only reason i would consider it is because 
I really like the Jackie Ina palette and I really like Jackie and I would want to support her. And this might be my last opportunity to get my hands on it because it is a limited edition thing. First of all, they just need to make Sultry permanent. That palette is absolutely stunning. The shimmers in it are chef's kiss incredible looks like the same with the jackie ina palette i haven't seen it in person or have i if i have it's been like a really long time since i've seen it so i don't quite remember what it looks like but i feel like this might be my last opportunity to get my hands on the jackie ina palette so that's what makes me kind of you know consider getting it but other than that it just feels like it's very thrown together at the last minute and they're just trying to sell excess stock does anyone else feel that way i hope i'm not just being like a grumpy old lady okay so next up i want to talk about kylie and the grinch when she first teased this i was so incredibly excited and then she revealed it and i was like oh First of all, why are there only like three greens in a Grinch collection? In the palette, there's only like three real greens. The rest are like neutrals and golds. And uh, I don't know. I just feel like you can create all of two looks with this. And then if you try to create any more than that, they're all going to start looking the same. Not only that, but how many times are you going to launch a red lip kit? It's been like four or five years in a row now that you've launched a red lip kit. And given this red lip kit different names, I just don't understand. Like I'm sure they're marginally different, but like it's still a red lip kit. I'm just bored, man. The only thing that I kind of dig are the single pot eyeshadows. I forget what she calls that formula. Hold on. Oh, I would consider getting the olive liquid liner pen. I really like her liquid eyeliner pens and the shimmer eye glazes, the two green ones are very pretty, but what is up with the palette and what is up with the lip kit? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The packaging is so cute though. She killed it for that. Next up, I don't think this is specifically a holiday launch, but it could be. I don't know. It's the Hourglass Illume Sheer Cheerio. Illume Sheer Trio. They relaunched this as a vegan formula. They had only one shade prior to this, and when they relaunched it, they also only relaunched the same one shade. What the hell is up with that? They're excluding like the majority of the skin tone range. It's ridiculous, and they had the perfect opportunity to take such a cult favorite product and expand it and allow everyone to use it and they just didn't take that opportunity. I feel like at this point they're just blatantly saying we don't care about people of color. If you're not the lightest of the light, we don't really care to create products for you. Which is crazy because I'm pretty sure they have like a decent shade range in their like foundations and concealers. So why don't you create literally anything else in deeper shades? I don't understand. Like they think that everyone can just wear the same bronzer. That's not, that's not true. <sighs> I will get heated about this if I talk about it any longer, but I will not be purchasing that. I'm pretty sure I asked for an hourglass palette for Christmas and if I get it, I'll return it because that is like so beyond annoying. I'll probably refrain from using the brand. Not that I like have a lot of their stuff because it's so damn expensive. I have their um, stick foundation and I freaking hate it. I hate it so much. It is the worst foundation ever. Not only that, but people create such beautiful looks with their pot eyeshadows. What are those? The scattered light shadows. I have like five of them and I can't get any of them to work. I can't get them any of them to like stick onto my eyelid. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've tried with my finger. I've tried with a wet brush. I've tried with a tacky base and I just can't get any of it to work and it really like makes me upset. So this was the final straw hourglass. You're cut from my collection. I'm done. I don't think they care, but like, okay. And last but not least, you should have been able to see this one coming from like a mile away because I really don't like Jeffree Star, but the Blood Money collection, first of all, I'm pretty sure that's already launched and I'm pretty sure it's like one of the only collections that has stayed in stock for a prolonged period of time, which is... It's interesting. It means either they ordered a shit ton or there's hardly any demand for their brand anymore, which I would go with the latter. I'm just not a huge fan of greens, honestly. Not only that, but I don't like Jeffree. I don't love greens enough to purchase an entire palette. Like if I was gonna do greens, I would just do the ColourPop Just My Luck palette because nine greens, that's all I need. I don't need, how many are in this? What's six times three? 18. <laughs> Wow, I don't need 18 of them. I'd be fine with half of that for a much lower price tag. Sorry, Jeffrey, but I'm not sorry at all. Has anything else been announced since I've made that list? Hourglass is going to Ulta. 
That doesn't affect me because Ulta pulled out of the Canadian market. They were gonna come here and then they didn't. What's up with that? Oh, let's anti-haul this. I just saw it. The Holiday Crystallized Collection from KKW Beauty. It's the same palette again and again and again. And then they launched the Opal palette and then they went back to the same thing and they're launching it again and again. I'm gonna anti-haul all of it except for maybe the little mini travel size lip liners. I'd be interested in testing that. A new addition to the Nudie Patootie family by Laura Lee Los Angeles. Has anyone heard of anything she was launching? For the longest time, she just launched nothing. The Nudie NO2 eyeshadow palette. It looks the exact same as the first one. Oh, Nudie number two, okay. It literally looks the exact same to me, for real. The exact, oh, I guess I'm gonna put it up here so you don't need to see it. How is that different from the first one? I guess a little bit, but like, Laura, you scamming us, girl. What's up with that? Someone commented, I genuinely didn't know she still had a makeup line. Truth. I always check back and I'm like, what have you launched? Nothing still, oh, okay. It looks the same, just a mini version. It looks like the same thing. Who wants this? No. <laughs> Too bad she hates me for the color of my skin. Oh. I mean, this probably wouldn't show up on people of color. I'm not gonna speak for them because I don't know for sure, but from the looks of these comments, people of color would agree that this is not suitable for them. And Violet Voss just launched the Forget Me Not palette, which is kind of a mini palette. It's got 10 shades and it's all blues. I think it's a weird time to launch this. I think this would have been a much better spring or summer launch. I don't really get it. This is about to show up in my tank boxy chop. This palette is so 2019. I just think honestly the shades in this palette are super similar. Not only that, but why are they launching it in November? I feel like that's such a weird time. The two teal shades look the same and the two royal blue shimmers look exactly the same. And then the two bottom teal shades also look the same. That's a no from me, dog. Anyway, that is all from me. Oh, it just got super bright in here. Holy crap. This eye has been watering all day and I just feel like that's just gonna make it worse. The waterworks are coming. I can feel it. But yeah, thank you so much for letting me have a little bit of a negative Nelly moment and just kind of roast some launches because I was not feeling most of them. What holiday collage- collages? collections and launches. What holiday collections are you feeling? Which ones are you passing on? I'm gonna go before the sun makes me go blind. So that is it from me today. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. If you don't, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It really helps my channel out just you watching, so thank you. Please let me know if you have any requests in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!